Hey everybody, this is a review of the Peak Design Mobile Wallet Stand. This is a wallet that I did a review on uh, probably over a year ago when I first got it, maybe close to a year and a half ago. And um, it's held up really well and I just wanted to do a longer term review. When I first got it, I made the review because there just weren't many people talking about it already. And um, I just wanted to provide you an update and uh, tell you what it's been like using this every day for a year, year and a half, however long I've had it. So the wallet, as you can see, still looks fairly good um, for being used and abused every day for a year or so. Um, it still functions just like it should. It's got a little bit of wear on the back. You can kind of see the magnet pattern showing through, but honestly, it's really not that bad. It's again, still the same material and design as the bags, it almost looks like a mini backpack, which is kind of funny. And it, it fits in with the material of the everyday case. Um, it is MagSafe compatible. You can actually, over time, you can see the MagSafe rings in here, but I mean, there's even more magnets that are designed to work in conjunction with the case itself. So that is like, that is really on there. It's a bit of a, like that is a strong, magnet you really have to slide it off instead of pulling it off but i love the fact that it's the case or the, i'm sorry the kickstand design i thought about getting the slim version and testing that out for a while but i love the kickstand it's so useful um i've i uh, switched to the apple wallet with magasafe for a while not too long ago and while that one is nice i found myself coming back to this it's definitely much slimmer because this thing gets Pretty hefty on the back of the phone if you have a bunch of cards in it. I just, I miss this kickstand design and then how strong that magnet is. That is just, uh, that is good. That's secure. That's how I want my wallet to be attached. And like I say, this does work with MagSafe, which I can show you here. I'll actually show you on the iPhone 12 mini here. It works. It's just not the strongest thing. I would say it's about as strong as Apple's MagSafe wallet or any other MagSafe accessories just using that magnet. The magnets did get stronger in the 13 and then the 14 series, so the 12 series is the weakest, but it's just got a little more play, and that could be because of the, the material of the wallet itself is more slippery than like a, re a rubber would be, or I'm sorry, a leather would be grippier, more like a rubber. Um, so it does tend to slip a little bit. On the glass but if it's on a case it doesn't slip too bad um, it just comes off a little easier than i would like on like the case itself like that is noticeably different much stronger and i love the fact that like i say it's a kickstand and then i can flip my phone sideways for watching content or filming i've used it as a tripod while filming out and about um, it's super versatile and i love the thing now as far as cards go i carry about seven cards in here um, and I'm not gonna, I won't, I won't show anything, but seven cards, um, as far as like driver's licenses, debit cards, uh, business, uh, credit cards and whatnot. And that does really good. That's another reason why I didn't stick with the Apple one is that even though it has find my three cards is just not enough for me. I need at least four on a light day. I have four cards and this thing expands. So, I mean, if you had like one or two cards, I'll throw a card in here. No numbers showing on that. Like if I had one card, it fits in just fine. You know, it's much slimmer than if it had seven and it'll compact down a bit. And this little pull tab is still doing just fine. It's as strong as ever. You can, it's actually harder with one card. Pull it up to get access to all your cards. And I still set it up the same way because when you're pulling out a bunch of your cards, I put the most used one in the front, the second most used one in the back, and then anything else is kind of in the middle. So I can just like quick pull it out the store and the first one I can just grab. I don't have to pull them all out and kind of fan them out. Um, occasionally I'll have to do that if I need to grab my license or ID or whatever, um, but it, it's not that bad. You get used to it over time. And then a cool little trick I've learned over time of using this is you can flip this back and it magnetizes there to stay out of the way to grab what you need. Just a neat little trick of the trade that I've learned since using it. But yeah, this, this wallet, I really have no complaints about. Like I say, I've, I've switched away from it once or twice over the year that I've used it. 
in favor of something slimmer like the the Apple MagSafe wallet but I really just have no complaints about this thing. I keep finding myself coming back to it. It's about the most minimal thing that I would want to carry on the back of my phone and it provides utility in the kickstand. Like it's just fantastic. And as far as wear and tear, there's hardly any as opposed to a, a leather wallet which would have much more wear over this amount of time. So um, I recommend this thing to people um, if they're in the market for a wallet and they want something slim, maybe MagSafe, 100% recommend it. It is easily by far my favorite thing to recommend from Peak Design. So that's the MagSafe wallet with kickstand. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.